purpose of this project was to uh, research, uh, establish and showcase uh, world's best sustainable development and sustainable living. My life partner Kerry and I uh, found ourselves in the mid-90s uh, Gold Coasters and complaining about the Gold Coast, bloody developers, government, and we thought we were in this industry and we thought let's do something about it. And also I got depressed. I was depressed with my property career and the lack of heart. In our modern life we, we're heading rapidly in the opposite direction. We're watching our televisions and we've got big high fences. The, the eco-village is about the opposite. It's about pulling all those things down to get back to um, you know, the way we used to live so that people interact and connect with each other, develop friendships, support each other and uh, create a richness. You know, people down south say, how can you live on the Gold Coast? And I go, incredibly easy. You know, I've got a really rich community, fantastic friends, it's artful. I surf in the mornings and I've got great business opportunities and, um, and the climate's superb. You know? And I'm sorry to say this, but how can you live in a big mess like Melbourne or Sydney or any big city, to be quite honest? You know, you know the Gold Coast is criticised a lot, but I see a lot of people following passionate things here. And I think the Gold Coast is in a position where it's, it can flower. Um, if our mothers and fathers of this city actually uh, build our city well and design it well. And uh, indeed a lot of this is happening. There's a lot of really good stuff going on um, uh, to be a very rich and diverse culture. That's a long answer. <laughs> our project's won 30 awards. It's the most awarded development in Australia. And people often say, well, what is it that makes it different? And I just, it's really simple. We just took our time and made sure we tried to do everything well. And um, I'm a bit emotional as I say this, but there's a lot of work gone into it. And it's lots of fun. It's my, my own personal bit of artwork is to, is to try and do, it, do all those little bits and pieces well and um, it creates a, a good outcome. When we have good design uh, and a good outcome, people do get happy. They do, culture becomes richer, you know. Um, it becomes interesting and right around the world you know the places that actually have that have a good built form usually evolved over a long time um, actually are, uh, the pe people are interesting as well you know it sort of ties in hand in hand so you know I believe the our built form is really critical to get right and we need to dedicate the resources take the time and put heart into what we're doing not just create something that's fits the budget or will do until you know, the next 10 years. We need to do stuff that is really well considered and lasts, lasts over time. When you follow your passion, you're following something that's deep inside of you, doing things with heart, and then you actually are enriching your community. And it doesn't matter whether you're a, you know, a refuse collector or a cleaner or a brain surgeon, I think it's you're actually doing something that you, you've got, you're um, very excited about and keen, uh, keen to do. And that's great for, uh, that builds good community. When you see somebody that's in their passion, uh, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to, to be with them around, whether it's a service or somebody doing something, it's great. You know, it makes for vibrancy, I think. And Who do I hope, hope to benefit? Well, you know, it's the following generations and, and uh, not just the humans, but um, you know, we we tend to forget about the natural world and all those beautiful animals and trees. They don't have voices, but you know, really they do. And uh, without that, we we have nothing. So uh, I'm doing this to for the um, a better world for the future, or to at least maintain this fantastic world that we've got. No, I wouldn't change anything. It's been pretty hard, and I've had some horrific stuff happen. <laughs> But uh, it's been an immensely satisfying for personal growth because it's, uh, it's been a roller coaster ride and scary as anything, a death walk. You know, there's spears coming in every direction. Uh, but it's, it's been exciting and, um, uh, and I've, I've learned a lot and learned a lot about myself and I've had some successes and many failures. And, and out of uh, both success and failure, I think that's... Uh, enriches you as a person and I think that enriches the, the society and the community. Well I've learnt that um, it's a good message for other people that um, we can do things that we might be quite surprised with and uh, that there is you know outside of yourself there is a lot of inspiration when you just allow it to come through and uh, uh, I've learned I'm um, 
incredibly energetic and incredibly vulnerable <laughs> and oh many it's all things i've you know i think i've um what have i learned uh yeah i've learned that that having a go at something that you are passionate about is is immensely rewarding um with success and with failure and that's my message go out and do it if you feel like you want to do something go and do it you know, working in community is fantastic. It's it's been one of the the surprising um, and not surprising rewards, and you know the the joyous and warm interactions, the horrific and confrontational uh, stuff as well. Uh, it's fantastic, and I think it's an exciting time for um, for the Gold Coast and indeed the world to try and re regain community. This is the challenge of, of the next century is how we're gonna all live together and, and enjoy it. And, uh, uh, and it starts in our, in our backyards and in our neighborhoods. Uh, in essence, I'm trying to help create a, a world that's gonna be good for our kids and, and their kids. That's what I'm doing.